Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Dinarans on the go and in the know, wherever you may be, it is November 3rd, 2019, know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, first off, this was put out to the Iraqi security forces around the protests in Iraq, hopefully this will stop or at least drastically reduce the killings over there as the Iranian-backed militias won't be able to remain cloaked behind the true Iraqi forces as they murder innocent lives. Time will tell, urgent. Qasem Soleimani withdraws arms from the army and federal police. First article of interest, Iraq top cleric warns Iran to stay out. Bobby Gosh Bloomberg November 2, 2019. Bloomberg opinion to understand what Iraq Grand Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani is saying, you have to translate him twice, first from Arabic to English, then from politess to plain speak. In the first translation, a key passage from his Friday sermon in the holy city of Karbali went like this, no person or a group, no side with a particular view, no regional or international actor may seize the will of the Iraqi people and impose its will on them. The second translation, back off, Khomeini. That is how it would have sounded to Sistani audience in Karbala, where it was read out for the ailing octogenarian by an aide. In the streets of Baghdad and other Iraqi cities, where a bloody crackdown on largely peaceful protesters has taken more than 200 lives. In the Iraqi parliament, where lawmakers are negotiating a response to the demonstrations. And in Tehran, where Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei has been struggling to respond to the rising anti-Iran sentiment that undergirds uprisings in Iraq and Lebanon. Khamenei has unleashed Iran proxies in the streets Hezbollah in Lebanon, and Shiite militias in Iraq to intimidate the protesters. He has also dispatched his chief enforcer, the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps Commander Qasem Soleimani, to the Iraqi parliament, to rally Shiite parties behind the feckless Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. But if anything, these responses will only fan the anger in the streets against Iranian interference in Iraqi and Lebanese politics. Not even Khomeini, who is practiced in the art of ignoring popular resentment, can have failed to notice the anti-Iran slogans echoing through Iraqi cities, nor will it have escaped his attention that the loudest chanting comes from Iraqi Shiites, a community he expects to favor his Islamic Republic. The Supreme Leader anxiety was palpable in his tweets on Thursday, when he tried to blame Tehran usual suspects the US, the Zionist regime, some Western countries, and the money of some reactionary countries for the protests. Sistani's sermon was a repost, designed to set Khomeini right. Although born in Iran, he is no fan of Khomeini and other hardliners in Tehran, preferring the likes of President Hassan Rouhani. Iraq Grand Ayatollah has been in a quandary over the protests. Every Iraqi government since 2005 has had his personal imprimatur. His word has united factions among the Shiite majority. Prime Minister Abdul Mahdi, too, has his blessing. As such, Sistani is complicit in the corruption and ineptitude that have brought the Iraqis into the streets. His early pronouncements on the protest vacillated between bromides against corruption and calls on the protesters to abjure violence. But as the demonstrations have persisted, Sistani has grown progressively more critical of the government, blaming it for the violence. His Friday sermon puts him squarely on the protesters' side, in addition to interfering Iranians. The leaders who have long benefited from his validation came under attack, as the politicians in Baghdad struggle to devise a response that will satisfy angry Iraqis. The so-called Sage of Najaf warned that Iraqis have a right to a referendum on the constitution to change how they are governed. By invoking the prospect of a referendum, Sistani may have given the protesters a new focus for their energies, and the Iraqi politicians a way to break the toxic pattern of inconclusive elections and compromise prime ministers. Much will depend on the reaction of another cleric, Mokada al-Sadr who has also taken the protesters' side even joining them in the streets and has called for Abdul Mahdi removal. SADR, frequently described as a firebrand, has little in common with the preternaturally placid Sistani, but the prospect of the protests being led by one and backed by the other is certain to rattle turbane heads in Tehran, and if Sistani and SADR were to throw their combined weight behind demands for a referendum and who knows, maybe even inspire emulation by the Lebanese that might be the stuff of Khomeini nightmares. Next article of interest, Mokada SADR leaves Iraq to Iran on a surprise is it? Tehran the New Arab November 3, 2019, does SADR change his positions? 
Iranian sources reported that the leader of the Sadrist movement in Iraq, Bekada al-Sadr, had left the city of Najaf tonight heading to Iran, after he returned from a recent visit to Iraq last week, and appeared among the demonstrators in Najaf as he drove. SADR appeared suddenly last September with the Iranian leader, the Iranian journalist, Farad Madrazi, on his own account through Twitter, that SADR on his way to Iran on an Iranian plane from Najaf, saying that he would go to the religious city of Qam, 100 kilometers from the Iranian capital Tehran. He explained that SADR visit sudden comes after he returned to Iraq last Tuesday from the city of Qam where he appeared in Najaf among the demonstrators demanding the overthrow of the Iraqi government. Iranian sources did not reveal the reasons for the visit of SADR to Iran again, while escalating protests in Iraq. Note that he visits Qam from time to time for family and religious reasons, but his visit this time comes in light of the unrest in Mesopotamia, especially in the southern provinces on the one hand, and in the conflict between the position of SADR and Iran what is happening in Iraq on the other hand, where the leader of the Sadrist movement to resign the government of Adel Abdul Mahdi, while calling on Tehran to it remains a vacuum, accusing the United States, Saudi Arabia and Israel of riding the wave of protests in Iraq and Lebanon, while calling on Iran to pay attention to the demands of the demonstrators, at the same time accuses the three parties mentioned above as aimed at weakening the stable government and portray the religious authority and legal parties as corrupt to the people in Iraq, according to statements by the president of the Iranian presidential office, Mahmoud Vazi, last Wednesday. While the Iraqi demonstrations were marred by anti-Iranian slogans, the preachers accused America, Saudi Arabia and Israel of making great attempts to find a rift between Iran and Iraq by marketing slogans in the demonstrations. For his part, the leader of the Sadrist movement in a statement, last Wednesday, a day after his return to Iraq, demanding the resignation of Abdul Mahdi, in response to calls and political statements issued by several blocs supporting the Iraqi government within the coalition conquest, which is close to Iran, which represents the wing the popular mobilization which considered that the resignation of the government will deepen the crisis and that it is not a solution. SADR said in a statement, O rebel people, we received a response to what we said yesterday, that the resignation of Adel Abdul Mahdi will deepen the crisis. I say, not resignation will not inject blood, not resignation will make Iraq, Syria and Yemen. The visit of SADR to Iran comes in light of the convergence between him and the leader of the conquest the representative of the popular mobilization, Hadi Alamiri, the latter to respond to the call of the leader of the Sadrist movement to dismiss Abdul Mahdi, acceptance, assuring him of cooperation to we will work together to achieve the reconciliation of the Iraqi people and save the country in the public interest, he said. Next article of interest. Parliamentary finance. The budget of May 2020 include 300,000 degrees of employment. 2nd November, 2019 Baghdad. The Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed on Saturday that the adoption of the new pension law will provide about 300,000 degrees of employment during the current year, indicating that the government will add them in the general budget for next year. The new pension law will include reducing the years of service, which contributes to increase the number of vacant jobs by about 300,000 degrees during the current year only, committee member Hanin al qadu told al Miluma. He added, the government is obliged to announce vacant job grades and distribute them to young people in order to absorb the size of unemployment and reduce numbers. The budget for next year includes radical reforms in the field of housing complexes, relying on local companies to increase manpower, as well as achieving justice for all provinces in the distribution of wealth, he said. Next article of interest, SM. The economic process has fallen where there is no active public sector or an active and developed private sector. By Lee Ejim Economics November 2, 2019 Baghdad, the expert in economic affairs D. Alam Sim Sim, the problem of unemployment and high poverty is a natural product of the failure of the economic process on the one hand and the policy of the distribution of jobs followed in the country. The issue of economic reform is not linked to changing some ministers and bringing others as many claim, but the issue is to restore the value system of the economy in Iraq, she said. When the Constitution announced that we are in the process of transitioning to a free market system, this will not happen in reality, but the state's control has continued.
public-private partnership in this case fell the economic process as a whole and there is no effective public sector and lead the cycle properly and in return we have a private sector active and developed, which exacerbated the problem of the economic process. She also called for a reformulation of the economic process of decision-makers and economic centers in the country in line with the market economy and effective partnership between the public and private sectors. Next article of interest, Salahin Maliki stressed the need to miss the opportunity on the enemies in the grave of sedition. November 3, 2019 10:57, Baghdad, President of the Coalition of Law Nuri al-Maliki received in his office today, President Baram Salahin. During the meeting discussed developments in the political and security situation in the country, and also discussed measures that would contribute to meet the demands of the demonstrators. The two sides stressed, according to a statement to al-Maliki's office received Euphrates News a copy of it, the need to maintain the peaceful demonstrations and do not disturb security and continued paralysis of state institutions, schools, universities, oil companies and ports and accelerate the implementation of the reform packages announced by the government and won the confidence of representatives of the people in parliament. The two sides called for all political forces and mass events to support them and that all be aware and miss the opportunity on the enemies in the grave of sedition. Next article of interest, Al Rashid Bank announces its financial position, November 3, 2019 1137 Baghdad, Rashid State Bank announced its financial situation in light of the current situation in the country. A statement of his media office received Euphrates News a copy of it, that fueled its branches in Baghdad and the provinces with the necessary amounts of money in its banking transactions and customers can withdraw any amount of the bank without limitation. The bank's doors are open to receive customers and provide all banking services. Next article of interest. This was posted on the KB website this morning. Prohibit dealing with some financial institutions in U.S. dollars. 3rd November, 2019 CBI.IQ to slash all licensed banks all non-bank financial institutions prohibited dealing sue. March 9, 1936 8, 019-10-31. Reference to the powers granted to this bank under its law now. 56 of 2004 as amended and in view of the names of financial institutions below on the list of international sanctions, it was decided to prohibit dealing with these institutions in the US dollar currency at the permissibility of dealing with other currencies until further notice. Financial institutions, Al-Ata Islamic Bank formerly Al-Bilad Noor Islamic Bank of Iraq, Khalidi Exchange Company located in Erbil Governorate not authorized by this bank. More articles of interest to come. Don't forget to hit that like subscribe button and check out the CEP Currency Exchange Planner, the link is in the description panel. Make sure to tell them, the Dinare and sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, over and out for now, the Dinare